Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here today, my name is Daphne and we post a lot of Disney content on this channel. We're currently going through our 2018 Disney vlogs and sharing those. And today I'm gonna be sharing a pretty large Disney haul with you. Now this stuff is from our most recent trip to Florida. Uh, we stopped at Disney Springs and I picked up some things from the World of Disney. Uh, the Lego store, and then I also made a quick trip to the character warehouse at the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland. And then right after I got home from Florida, I found out that my local Disney store was gonna be closing. So my daughter Emma and I went up to the store last night and picked up a few more things. So I thought I would include that in this video as well. So I mentioned that this haul is from our most recent trip to Florida. This was a trip that Bob and I took alone without the kids. They didn't come this time because we had some business to take care of in Florida. So we just went down there for I think six nights and we didn't even do any of the Disney parks because we didn't really have time for that. But I was able to convince Bob to let me take time out to go to the premium outlets so I could go to the character warehouse as well as Disney Springs. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that and then I'm gonna jump into the haul video. So as far as um, the character warehouse, this is is an outlet store basically of Disney Parks merchandise and they have some really great deals. In fact, there are several times that I have found things that are still being currently sold in the parks at full price. You can find them for a nice discount at the Character Warehouse. The location that I always stop at is the one at the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland. You can find this right outside of Disney Springs. It's just maybe a couple of miles away, super convenient. And it did look a little bit different this time than the last time I was there. The reason why is because of everything that they're trying to do with all the safety measures um, because we are living in 2021 right now. When you first show up, you have to check in outside of the store. You give them your name and you give them your phone number and then they give you a call back or a text to let you know when you can come back to the store. So they weren't able to tell me an exact wait time, but um, I think I was there maybe around 10 a.m. in the morning. I gave them my phone number. We left, we ran to go do some other errands, and then we came back to the premium outlets probably about two hours later. And as we were pulling into the parking lot, they actually texted me right then. And you have 15 minutes from the moment you get that text to get back over to the store or else you lose your place in line. So when you come back, you check in again in a separate line um, saying that you've received the text message that it's now your turn to go into the store. So there are limiting numbers in the store. That's kind of the point of this whole thing. So that's kind of how it was a lot different this time, but it was nice. It made for a good shopping experience because there weren't a lot of people crowding around you. You had a lot of elbow space and, and all of that, where sometimes it does get very crowded in there. Okay, so let me show you what I found at the character warehouse. I didn't get as much as I normally do there and I think the reason why is because I was there without the kids and usually they're filling up all their shopping baskets and you know, and it's just different when you don't have your kids with you. So I did find a couple of things. Uh, the first thing was this spirit jersey for Addie. You can see there um, we have Grogu, the child from the Mandalorian and it's this really nice mint green spirit jersey and then it says um, the child across the back and this is just so nicely made I love like the puffy paint fabric that they use and I mean he's just he is just the cutest is he not the cutest tell me in the comments below if you are also a fan of the Mandalorian and is the child the reason why you watch the show because it is for me I mean it's a good show but I absolutely love him he's he makes the show so this was $50 originally and then it was marked down to 20. So when I checked out, I think this came out to even less because my total was less than what I had added up before I got to the counter. The next thing, oh, this is a t-shirt that I picked up for myself. I did have the kids on like a video call so I could see if there was anything they wanted, but Emma wanted me to surprise her and I had some ideas already of what I wanted to get her in uh, World of Disney. And then Landon already told me that he wanted Legos from the Lego store. He didn't care which one, but he wanted Legos from the Lego store in Disney Springs. So I really just got adding the spirit jersey and I think the rest is mostly mostly mine. But I found this um, great Skyliner shirt for myself. I absolutely love this. This is an experience that we still have not gotten to try out yet because we have not been to Disney now in two and a half years. We had two trips planned last year and we had to cancel them both 
and very sad about that and we're definitely hoping that we can get back to the parks really soon but yeah this um skyliner tee is adorable and you can see it says travel the world disney's skyliner and then you kind of have that map layout um of the Skyliner and then you see down at the very bottom of the shirt it tells you all the different locations that the Skyliner stops at so yes the last time we were in Disney World they were still they were almost finished building this actually I think we just kind of missed it by a couple of months so I'm very excited to try that out but I loved this shirt and this was only $12.99 uh, regular 35 so most of the t-shirts for adults are right around that like 12 to 15 dollar mark additionally i found this sweatshirt which i absolutely love it's so soft i'm not really sure because i haven't been in the parks in a while and maybe one of you know if you travel there for the art festival but you can see like these little paint cans all over the shirt and then you can see like the little artist hand with the paint brushes and then you have like little sketch drawings of Dumbo and there's Mickey over there there's Donald Duck he's upside down Mickey Mouse and they just look like all these little sketch drawings so I love this it is so soft it's an oversized fit and this was $55 regular price and marked down to 20 Again, I'll tell you what my total was for these things at the end, but I think they marked everything down like there was an additional discount on top of all of this. So that was a third item. So the last two items from the character warehouse were uh, a couple of masks that I found. They didn't have a lot to choose from. They just had a few there, but the ones they had were marked down really low i think they were only like a dollar fifty i'm gonna take them out of the plastic so you can see them better so the first one is this child sized mini mouse this one's for addy um little mini mouse mask and these are the first disney ones that i've bought uh right from disney that is um i have all kinds of disney print ones that i've bought from like other sellers online but i hadn't bought any yet from from Disney, isn't that crazy? But I've heard that they're really comfortable. They are like a double lined fabric and there's no adjusters or anything on the ears. They just have different sized masks. So this medium, I believe is supposed to fit like kids around seven, eight, up to 10, but Addie's pretty small. She's 11 now. So they did tell me that um, this should work for her. I also found a Grogu. Is that how you say his name, Grogu? I always call him Baby Yoda. I mean, cause that's what he looks like, let's be real. But um, so I found the little Baby Yoda mask as well. And he's got his little drink cup there. And this is a size large. So this would fit, this would fit an adult. And yeah, again, really great deals. Let me get my receipt, hold on. Okay, so for the spirit jersey, my sweatshirt, my t-shirt, and two masks, the total came out to $43.22. Okay, so the masks were $1.75 a piece, and then they gave a 30% discount on all the tops that we got. I don't know why we got that. Maybe there was a promo running that day that I obviously didn't know about. Either way, $43, I'll take it. You are not going to find prices like that on Disney merchandise, like pretty much anywhere else. The day after we went to the outlets, we went to Disney Springs for a few hours in the, like the late afternoon. I actually made reservations for us at the boathouse. We had never eaten at the boathouse before. We've eaten at a lot of the Disney restaurants, but not this one. And I have been wanting to eat there for so long and I was so happy to get this reservation. And it was fun. We had like a little date night and we got to eat outside right on the water. I'll pop in a little picture here so you can see. We got to watch the Amphicars um, launching into the water and that was really fun too to watch. But we got to sit right there on the water and have seafood. I believe Bob got, he got yellowfin tuna and then I got a, um, a grouper dish and it was so fresh and so delicious i mean awesome awesome server and then afterwards i went over to world of disney again this is another um like wait you wait outside and then when it's your turn to come in they let you in the store everything is very you know socially distanced and safe and all of that and i felt really safe at disney springs so i think the wait time said 30 minutes but it definitely did not take that long basically the line is really long and they wind you around the side and the back of the building that was the longest that it took was really just to walk around the whole building and i want to say maybe it was 10 minutes 
and then we were inside the store. The first thing that I found was this Alice in Wonderland tea set. So we are tea drinkers in this house, specifically Bob and Adeline and myself. We drink a lot of tea and Addie is such a huge tea drinker. I think she probably drinks like two or three cups a day. So we buy her tea all the time. It's like her favorite gift. So when I found this, I was like, okay, well that's a no brainer. Addie needs to have it. The cool thing is, is as I was putting it in my shopping basket, one of the cast members came over and was like, did you notice that it's buy one, get one free? So I'm like, okay, well, why wouldn't I just take another one? It's free anyway. So I got one for Addie and one for myself. So this was $14.49 and you get in here, so you see you get a mango tea. There's a caterpillar there from Alice in Wonderland. And there's a mad tea party blend. And so that one just says it's a blended black tea with ginger, peach, and apricot flavors. So then you have the Martere and there's the blueberry tea. This one is a lemon honey chamomile. So then you have this Earl Grey tea there with the Queen of Hearts. And then last but not least, you have this pomegranate tea, which is a blended black tea and pomegranate flavor. So each of these little triangle tea boxes have eight tea bags in it. So yeah, $14.50. That was a good deal, I thought, and then we got one free as well. So I gave one to Addie, kept one for myself, which she'll probably drink mine too, which is fine. Um, okay, and then this is something new that I've fallen in love with, and that's the Disney New Emos. You can see I have a couple here behind me. I had ordered these on Shop Disney, and I actually filmed a Shop Disney haul uh, probably a month or two ago. I love those so much. They have little magnetic hands and they have like little platform feet. So you can stand them up and you can kind of bend them and move them in different ways. What's fun about them is they're like little cosplay Disney plushes. So you can dress them up. You can buy different cost like outfits and stuff for them and dress them up. They're adorable. So Emma is a huge Donald fan. If you've been following us for a while, you definitely know that Emma loves Donald Duck. So I picked up Donald Duck for her. So here he is, he's super soft, and he's got his little sailor cap and his little tuft of feathers on the top. And then he's got his little sailor top on, little tuft of feathers on his tail. So some of the characters, you can actually undress them and then redress them, but um, Donald does not do that. Like his clothes are just sewn onto him, but you can buy clothes that will fit over this little outfit. So I didn't buy any of those outfits this time because I had some other things that I wanted to pick up for the girls, but that's Emma's Donald Duck. And then Addie is a huge fan of Minnie Mouse, just like me, love Minnie Mouse. All right, so you can see Minnie has the same little, that really soft like velveteen fabric. She's got her little red and white polka dot bow as usual with the matching dress. And then she has her little yellow shoes. You flip around to the back, you can see that this is um, like a Velcro dress. You can just remove this and then you can buy fun little different outfits for her. And they have so many that you can choose from. So these are $17.99. Yes, they're $18 a piece. That's how much these are. I think the outfits are $12.99. They're not very cheap, but they are very cute and a fun collectible, they're really fun. The next thing that I grabbed for the girls were these Disney Parks Wishables. These are the Peter Pan's Flight Edition. I bought four of these, there's two for each of them, and I think they're gonna be opening these, we're gonna film it and open it probably tomorrow they'll film that for you. I know these are pretty popular right now, uh, but we have never opened them before and the girls love anything like mystery pins, mystery bags, blind bags. They love all of those things. So this will be really fun for them. These ones are so cute. Like I said, they are the Peter Pan's Flight series. And so you can see that there's four different characters that you can get. You have Peter Pan, Wendy of course, and Nana who's adorable. And then you have the, the ride vehicle the pirate ship ride vehicle. They all really are very cute. So I'm excited to see what they look like. The next thing is actually something I picked up for Bob because we had seen several people wearing it and he commented on it every single time that he liked it. So I found it in World of Disney and had to pick it up for him. He hasn't used it yet. I just took it out of the packaging and I still need to wash it. Um, but this is a Marvel Captain America mask. He just really liked this one. All right, so last but not least, in World of Disney, I found a special little necklace for Emma. It came in its own cute little Mickey print box with a bow on the front. And it is this sterling silver Mickey pendant necklace. 
and it does have some little stones in there i mean this was 30 dollars, so i'm not really sure what the stones are if they're just little crystals or if they're swarovski crystals it doesn't say that they are but either way emma really loved this necklace a lot and i was really happy to give this to her next we went to the lego store after world of disney and i found something for landon that's what this giant bag is right here let me set this down okay so i looked and looked in the store i didn't really know what set to get him and I had picked one out, it was a Star Wars set, and Bob found one that he liked even better for Landon. Um, if you use Legos at all, you know that they're not cheap, and this was a really nice set, probably the nicest one we've ever bought for Landon, but this is a the Lego Creator set. Again, my ring light wants to pick up on the package here, so hopefully you can see it. There we go. But this is this uh, Mustang car really really nice there are 1471 pieces in this set and it says um, 16 years and up on the package Landon absolutely can't wait to get into this he's finishing up another Lego project right now um, and then he'll be working on this one but I mean it's really detailed he's really excited you can see all the details in this vehicle the doors open and everything really really cool he's 16 now so this is like the perfect the perfect lego set for him really so that's what landon got he just got the one thing but he was just as thrilled as the girls were with all their little gifts so the last store that we stopped at in disney springs was a trip to goofy candy company so the goofy candy company has all kinds of sweet treats you can find all the Disney Parks candy there as well as Rice Krispie Treats. So I did buy one for each of the kids. Landon and Emma both got the same one. They're like the chocolate dipped Mickey Rice Krispie Treats on the little popsicle stick. And this one has, they almost look like nerds. And they might be nerds, but I think they're actually like little um, candy coated chocolate pieces. So both Landon and Emma got that flavor and then Addie is a big fan of white chocolate like I am and they didn't have any white chocolate right now but they did have pink dyed white chocolate on her little Minnie Mouse Rice Krispie Treat and then it has like little confetti candy bits all over it like candy sprinkles. They'll be excited because I we just got home and I'm like let me film this video really quick and then you guys can have all your treats and your snacks and look how patient these kids are they actually waited to eat this i would have not been able to wait there's no way so that completes the haul from our florida trip and like i said as soon as i got home the kids told me that their grandmother had taken them to our local mall here and they said the disney store is closing and i didn't know that our disney store was supposed to close i thought because we hadn't gotten any notification about it and i had seen like all these other stores were closing around the country so the kids said yes in fact it was closing I think it closes April 14th. And so I asked Emma last night, I'm like, do you want to run up there? We'll go check, we'll see if they have. I was gonna to try to pick up more of these wishables, which, spoiler alert, they did not have any more of these, which makes sense. Um, they had 25% off everything in the store. I think a couple, or at least one item I got was already on clearance. I also bought this bag because I forgot to bring a shopping bag with me. So I bought this to put our purchases in. So let me show you what we got in. The Disney store. The first thing, probably my favorite, is this sweatshirt that I found for Adeline. If they had this in my size, I absolutely would have gotten it for myself and I'd probably be wearing it right now. I love it. I love the bright colors. It's just so like retro looking, kind of reminds me of like my childhood. But this was marked down from $43 to $25 and then it was an additional 25% off. So this is really just a cool sweatshirt. It has like the red collar and also the little cuffs on the sleeves. And then you have all the, the Mickey and Friends characters on there. So you've got Donald Duck there on the front, and a little Mickey hand. There's Goofy, there's Minnie Mouse. You see a little bit of Pluto over there in the corner. A little bit of Mickey's face down here in the corner as well. Kind of the same print on the back. Addie will love it. She likes oversized everything right now. So that'll be a good fit for her. Next, we did find a few more masks. I'm just gonna run through these really quick. 
So the first one was for Landon. Hopefully I'm holding it up the right way. I'm not sure if I am. But it's a Mandalorian mask. Maybe I have it upside down. I don't know. Anyway, probably it goes this way. And you're probably you can tell me I'm wrong. But Mandalorian mask for Landon. He did get an extra large. I also found him a Black Panther mask right here. And I found Addy, a baby Yoda. Here I go again, baby Yoda, the child. So this matches with the one that I found at the character warehouse, but the other one wasn't her size and this one's a medium. So this one will fit her better. The other one was a large, so it would be a little bit too big. I got one for myself. And this is a Monsters Inc. mask. I loved this so much. You can see Sully and Mike. They're climbing through all the doors. I love that door print. So those are the masks that we found. I found Emma this t-shirt right here. It says Original Mouseketeer. And you have like the white stripes on the sleeves and little Minnie Mouse there in the center. So this is one that Emma picked out that she wanted. I think she got three total, so that was one of hers. This is one I wanted really bad, but they didn't have my size, but they had it in Emma's size, and it is a white rabbit, like gray. I love the colors, like a heathered gray tank top. And it says, sorry I'm late, I didn't wanna come. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. Just a little cheeky. And uh, yeah, so that's Emma's second top that she got. Oh, the third one I forgot. She picked out a matching shirt to mine. So we each have this sleeveless Mickey Mouse, like kind of turquoise teal top. And Mickey's got little coral pink shorts on in this one. So this will be a nice one for summer. Like I said, we have matching ones. So this is hers, this is mine. And then I got myself a gray t-shirt with Mickey Mouse on the front. It's a little v-neck t-shirt and I love the fabric on this. It has like the little um, black and white flex woven into the fabric. So that's the one that I got for myself. Well, I guess that was everything. So that completes the haul from the Carriage Warehouse and Disney Springs as well as our local Disney store. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please leave a like. That really helps our channel out a lot. And also in the comments, please let me know what was your favorite item from this haul today. And like I said, we will have a video coming for you soon of the girls doing a Wishables unbagging, mystery unbagging. We'll see what, what, they, what they got. I'm, I'm really hoping that out of the four packages I bought that we will be fortunate enough to get one of each. But you know, that's not usually how these things go, but one can only hope. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you real soon.